I realized that Vlogmas this year hasn't been all... I don't know what's going on. I don't know what this is. I don't know what's going on. Vlogmas this year hasn't been all Christmassy. Hasn't been that Vlogmasy. Hasn't been very holiday spirit oriented. Or has it? I just feel like it hasn't. So I thought that I'd take today's video to don the red, grab a cup of cocoa, sit on top of a pile of laundry I have yet to put away, and talk to you about my favorite Christmas songs, I guess. I'm kind of running out of ideas and it's the night before. Christmas. It's the night before this goes up. Mind my voice too. Something is really going on with my throat. It sounds like I'm sick all the time. I need to go see a doctor. <laughs> it sounds like I'm losing my voice for real. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm losing my voice for real. I need to trim these bangs. They're too long. I'll do that after this video. How would how would you let how about that? This might be a really boring video. I don't know how to make list videos interesting. Should I go blind? Should I blind myself? I have a playlist called Lil Wint. I don't know if you guys know that. So I'll just add all these to that playlist, I suppose. I suppose. I gotta edit it. It has a little bit too much Tchaikovsky for 2017 me. I think 2016 me was really feeling that. First song you gotta have in your Christmas playlist, Christmas in LA. Wolfpack. Second song you're gonna have on your playlist, Make Someone Happy, Jimmy Durante. Durant? It's truly not a Christmas song, but it plays at the end of Sleepless in Seattle. That's how I first heard it. That's a Christmas movie, in my opinion. Holiday flick. It's a holiday rom-com. That song's love to me because I think I was first exposed to love through Meg, Wy Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks. <laughs> You've got mail in Sleepless in Seattle. Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks. I believe when I first watched them upon the silver screen was when my young mind was exposed to the concept of love. I'm gonna try and make this as obscure as possible. Maybe ones that aren't, I don't wanna make it, like you've heard the Elvis Christmas album, you've heard Jingle Bells. So I'm not gonna, you know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna try and find things that are, uh... oh. Sorry. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, in sync. That's the only exception. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, also, please come home for Christmas by the Eagles. Okay, that's it. Now moving on. Christmas TV Slow Club. I did a cover of that with my pal Rusty a couple years back. Check it out. For some reason, New York by Frank Sinatra is always on my Christmas playlist. I think it's just because I've always wanted to go to New York at Christmas time. Okay, Odd Lang Syne. Everyone says, that's not a Christmas song. Don't put it on your playlist. It's a New Year's Eve song. What? So I'm supposed to only listen to that song once and not put it on... Like, do you have a New Year's Eve... Like... It's Christmas. Christmas and New Year's are a package deal. Christmas and New Year's are a package deal. <laughs> you get one, you get the other. You know what I'm saying? You can't have Christmas without New Year's. You can't have New Year's without Christmas unless you don't celebrate Christmas. In which case... Okay, fair I stand corrected. I sit atop my dirty laundry, corrected. Any of Sufjan's songs, he has so many Christmas songs. My favorites being Christmas in the Room, Did I Make You Cry on Christmas Day, The Friendly Beasts, Come on Everybody Let's Dance to the Elf Boogie, I think it's called. It's a banger regardless. Oh my god, I love indie artist Ariana Grande. Her song Santa Tell Me, definitely on my playlist. Okay, I guess I'll, I guess I'll pull out the deep cuts. I love fully snobby dad. Do you know what song like goes off though? Mary, did you know? <laughs> Mary, did you know that your song goes off? Specifically, the Pentatonix version. When you kiss your little baby, you kiss the face of God. Put that on the club. <laughs> Chris Farron has a really great Christmas album called Like a Gift from God or whatever. I'm actually going to download it. I don't have it on my Spotify. And there's a song that he sings with Mae Whitman. It's a duet. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah. That's a good one. Write that one down. I'm taking notes. Write that one down. Ooh, Spotify has a playlist called Christmas Party. First track is All I Want for Christmas is You. Then... Mistletoe. Oh! Step into Christmas, Elton John. Spotify. Mary's born child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas I have chills. Day. I have literal chills. Forget everything I just said. Go follow Spotify's Christmas party playlist. I roasted it. 
and pff, it just totally blew up in my face. Do not judge a book by its cover, guys, because Elton John might be inside. Such a classic. Truly. Like, are you kidding? Sometimes I want to ask, are you kidding? To wham. For how good they are. What? enough of that. Ooh, Carly or Jepsen. <laughs> Pure joy. Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> and only me. Anyway, I think that concludes my video. Oh. I've lived in this ground level garden suite apartment for um, almost about two years now, and um, it was just made apparent to me that there, that I can, that my neighbors can see into my window, into my room. I don't know why I never thought they couldn't. Since I've noticed they have constantly had their blinds down, maybe they just noticed me too. But my blinds are up. <laughs> I'm not afraid, but I'm just. I think I'm, what I'm most afraid is not them being able to see me, you know, naked, what have you. But um, I think I'm, I'm most embarrassed on them catching me doing this. That's what I'm scared for. Anyway, thank you for uh, watching. Please subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, also, I'll just leave you with something to look forward to unless you're my neighbors, in which case you have lots to look forward to in here. Hello. I mentioned in yesterday's video who would come to the shows, if I did shows, I set up a show. <laughs> Right after that, in Victoria at the Copper Owl on January 21st. Quinn's gonna be opening. You know him from this channel. If not, he's great. He's gonna be doing his solo stuff, which is... Guys, I'm so excited for that. And then if you know the band Bridal Party, Susie, the singer from Bridal Party, is gonna be doing her solo stuff for that as well. So it's gonna be really fun. At the Copper Owl, 19 plus, January 21st. More details to come. There's gonna be like an event, a Facebook event that I'll make that I'll post to my Facebook page. If you haven't liked my Facebook page, go like it. Because I guess Facebook still exists, unfortunately. Vancouver is definitely in the works. It's The venue is just TBD, <laughs> as we say in the industry. I think that means to be determinized. Push the little bell to be notified when I upload because there's going to be more information and also turn on my notifications for Twitter and, and stuff, I guess, if you want to. My dad does that, so...